All right, so now we've got the keypad, and I'm going to plug it into the USB port. I'm going to press two buttons at the same time. If you look on your screen, you will see two buttons down here that uh, have B and C written in gray. Those are the two buttons we're going to press, and if you have a 20-row button, you're going to push the bottom two of those buttons. So the bump bar is now connected. We did a get the bump bar connected sign. We're going to do a read. So we click on that. We do this. We get a good read. If you notice here, it says number of buttons is 30. Maximum sequence length is 63. So what that's telling us is there are 30 buttons here, and each key can hold 63 buttons. Now, if you have a 20 key bump bar, the software has the ability to recognize it as 30, providing your hardware has that support. So we're going to treat it as a 30, even though it might be a 20. So at this point, we click on Edit Configuration. You can see here, the first thing is we got the sound enabled, and we have it set on Caps Lock. It's currently in Mode 1, which is the default mode that it comes up to. The Connect is set to Auto. Currently, it will detect between PS2 and USB. Again, we're only talking about a wired version of the bump bar at this point. We're not talking about Bluetooth version. So I'm just going to leave it set to auto, and that way it will negotiate what it wants to do. So we want to go in here and we want to change this. We want to create our own custom sequences. So you can see here I've got some that just have data entered. What I did is I double clicked on the actual button that I want to change. I go to the end of the line and I type in here whatever we want that key to be. Key space one return. And I'm going to say OK at this point. So I just changed that to be key space one enter. If I want to come over to this one I can select it and I can back out whatever happens to be there. You have to enter the keys in a sequence. So whatever you happen to type in there and you type that in, those are going to show up on two different lines on that system. So it's going to type that first set of characters that we see right here. The system's going to press enter, then we're going to have these two, and it's going to press enter. And say OK there, and you can see those keys were just entered. If uh, You can see that right here we have separate keys that are entered into the system. These keys, we could have a single space, we can have a tab, we can have page up, page down. We can have all kinds of special characters in there. If I, I clicked on the one that says F7. So let me move this screen over here so you can see it. So you see where it says F7. If I wanted a, another key in there, I could do F6. I could hit a tab, uh, do a caps lock key. That would be the same thing as pressing caps lock button on your keyboard. Turn it on, turn it off. So. Those are, those are all different things. We also have the ability to do a control character. So control, and we could do, I press the letter A on the keyboard. Now we have a control A. We have F7, control A. Those are the sequences that will be put in. If we wanted to do auto repeat, we can tell it to select and enter, uh, do a delay for how long, no delay or long delay, and slow to fast. Or we could insert a pause in here. And we could pause for five seconds, give the chance for the system program to catch up, and then we could do uh, letter A. Whatever we wanted to do there, we can write that in. And we just changed this particular character right here, this button on the keypad, to be that. Now when I go out there and I hit right bump bar, we get three beeps from the system, from the keypad, saying that it's ready to go. And at this point, we could turn around, we could open Notepad. I'll drop it in here. You can't see quite the entire screen. Let me pull it down here a little bit for you. And I'm going to unplug the bump bar take so that it disconnects from the programming program. Plug it back in. We'll give it a few seconds here to, to initialize. What it's doing, it's giving you a chance to enter keyboard mode, and then it's saying if you don't do it, then I'm going to enter that. So let me scoot this screen over so we can see what we've got. So if I push the first button on the program on the keypad right here, 
while in Notepad, key one, key space one, enter was just entered. If I want to enter all those characters, remember we had a bunch of characters, we had an enter and then a bunch more. So we got all those characters and it entered. Say we want to do this button down here, this F7, control A, pause, and then an A. So we got this highlighted right here. I'm going to push the button. So we got an F7, which didn't do anything, control A. We got a pause, and there's our second A. So it was a five second pause between them. That should give you an example of how you can program a keypad with the configurator program and be able to write and generate key sequences as you need. So that's it for this little video demonstration. Hope it helped you and please check back for more information later.